Okay. Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to this hopefully very brief tutorial on how to use MixLR. If you are viewing this tutorial, it's probably because you've been picked as the presenter for this week's Radio U, um, which is great news. That means you're the best presenter out of everyone, hopefully. Um, so no pressure. I'm kidding. It'll be fine. All right. Beautiful. So first thing you need to do is you need to download MixLR. You can just type this into um, Google um, or whatever your search engine is, MixLR, it'll come up with an option for you to download. When you download, um, before you can download rather, you need to put in the username and the password for Radio U. This means when you download MixLR, it's already geared up for the Radio U station and it will broadcast to our Radio U website. And that's where people actually listen in and hear to your content, hear your content rather. So let's have a look at the system. All right, it's nice and simple. There's no need to get confused by all of this. Um, the first thing you need to do is uh, click start. That's what you want to do when you want to start recording. So you press that to go live. Um, so as soon as I click that, I'm actually streaming onto the internet to our website, mixlar.com um, for the Radio U program. That start will become a stop. You can click that button as well, and that's going to stop the recording. Uh, once you've stopped that recording, it will actually come up with an option um, saying, would you like to view your locally saved file? Yes, you would like to view it because after you've uh, done the broadcast, you need to upload that file to SoundCloud, our UOW SoundCloud account, so that you can embed a SoundCloud link in your draft post, which is ultimately going to be your submission and what you're marked on by Sean. So make sure that you record it. The way that you record it is using this little button here. So you can see that you can turn it off so at the moment, recording is off. I'm not going to record whatever it is that I broadcast. You want that little red button to be there because then you know it's going to record whatever it is you're saying. The next thing that I want us to look at is these three sound levels. The first one is your mic. So it's actually got that written at the top, nice and simple. Um, your mic is you. That's the sound of you talking. So it can be uh, multiple different sources. For most people who are using your laptop, it's going to be the microphone built in input. This is uh, usually what it kind of automatically defaults to. I've actually got my own microphone that I plug into the back of the computer and speak into. You can see here on the little screen. Um, so I'm gonna use that, it's a stadium USB microphone. So I'm gonna select that for my speech input. The third one along, that's called your playlist. And that is everything that you put in here, your playlist. You can see I've already put some things in before. Um, so these are different bits and pieces of audio that I've created. Um, and this is the, the stream through which all of these bits, of piece, bits and pieces play. And this is composed of, um, for when you're doing the radio segment, your packages and your grabs. And you can see that each of them has a white bar. Now this just adjusts the audio level. Um, it's usually set at zero. If you bring it down, you're going to make that sound quieter. You're taking away decibels. If you pop it up, you're making that sound a little bit louder. Um, over here is the last kind of soundbar, and that is your total output, but you don't need to worry about that. And there's nothing really you can do to it anyway, or that you should do to it. And you can see at the moment, the only one that's active is this one, the mic, because I'm currently talking into my microphone. Okay, cool. So speaking of adding sounds, so you're ready to press start, you know you're recording, you've got your levels nice and set, you shouldn't actually have to change anything here, hopefully. Um, and you're good to go. How do you get in your packages and your grabs? Well, you need to add sounds. What I would do is I would download everything. Um, so these should all be MP3 files that the other members of your team and yourself have created. You download them. I would create a separate folder on your desktop. Put all of them into your folder and then upload them to Sound, uh, not SoundCloud, sorry, to MixLR from that one folder. And the way that you do it is you go down to the bottom, there's a little plus sign. So you click that. And then it's just a matter of finding whatever it is you want to upload. So in my case, let's go to the desktop. Okay. And I'm going to use test audio. Beautiful. So you can now see that I've got four sounds in this list. Um, and they're all got their timestamps down the side. So I've got episode one. It's six minutes, 26 seconds long. I've got three copies of that just for this example. And I've also got my test audio, which is two minutes, 40 seconds long. Okay. So let's say that 
I want to play my test audio first. You can see at the moment it's at the bottom of the pile. You just grab this little bar here and all you do is drag it up. And that's how you put your different packages and your audio files into an order in which you're actually going to be using them and that aligns with your script. This is super important that you get this done because you don't want to be switching and swapping between different pieces at different times um, while you're actually live and on air and presenting. Okay, so we know now that we've got all of our sounds lined up in the way that we want them to. We've got the intro, we've got the test, and we've got um, episode number one, the six minute update. Let's say I now wanna actually present this stuff. One of the risks that you run with this system is that when you play your very first piece of audio, once it finishes, so this is 14 seconds long, once it finishes those 14 seconds, it starts immediately playing the second piece of audio. Once the second piece of audio has finished playing, it immediately starts playing the third piece of audio. This is why it's so important that when you are creating a package or when you are creating a grab, you put in one second of silence at the end and also at the start. So um, you as the presenter have two seconds of silence that you can play with because what you're going to need to be doing is toggling this little play and pause button. So you'd play your intro. Hello, my name is David, welcome to Radio U. And on today's show, Scott Morrison has caught COVID-19. He hasn't, but you get the vibe. Now you're going to have to press pause once this finishes to then be able to start introducing your first package. So this is test audio. So, um, and I don't know, test audio has released its first album in 15 years. David Barnett Clement reports. You press play. Yeah, it's definitely a good day for internet. <laughs> And then you head into audio number two and so on and so forth. So that's the way that you run it. If for some reason, um, I don't know, the audio that you're getting from your package is super loud, you can bring that sound down. If the audio you're getting is super high, uh, super low, sorry, you can bring that stuff up. So you have got a little bit of control using these sound bars, but again, you shouldn't really need to do that. And then you're pretty much done. So you have gone through all of your packages, you've finished up, you've wrapped up, then you press stop, you save the recording and away you go. And that's your broadcast finished. So <laughs> hopefully this has helped. Um, I know it can be super stressful. So just stay calm, stay focused. And remember that you're in charge, you're the presenter um, and you've been given a quite, quite a responsibility, yes but also quite an opportunity. I mean, how many times do you get to live broadcast a radio show? So treat it as something that's fun rather than as like a punishment or anything like that. Okay, cool. Best of luck. Um, I'm sure you'll do fine. Signing off for now. I will see you later on. Ciao, ciao and goodbye.